it's Thursday afternoon and I just got back to the warehouse from the garage sales and I have 14 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Okay, first two things are right here. I pull these from my storage units. Uh, first is this Frog Togs uh, jacket and pants set. This is the last of what I had. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And this softball bat sold. I got this at a garage sale two weekends ago. I paid five bucks for it. There really weren't a lot of good comps, so it was hard to get a value on it. I listed it for 100 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $45 plus shipping, and I accepted. Next is over here in A4. This is a cool sun and moon print. I pulled this out of the storage units I've just bought. Someone sent me an offer on this of $35 plus shipping, and I accepted. Next is over here in F2. This is also a sun and moon piece. Uh, this is a blanket. It is by Goodwin Weavers. I got this at a garage show for $3. It's sold for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, next is down here at F5. It is some comic books. Uh, these JSA right here, um, Justice Society of America. I've got less than 20 cents into each of these. It's a lot of 14. They sold for $11.99 plus shipping. All right, next is a recorder down here in D6. A little Sony one. Here it is. Picked this up for a couple dollars. It sold for $39.99 free shipping. Moving right along, I sold a baseball glove. This is a Rawlings 13 and a half incher, probably more like a softball glove, really. Got a few bucks into it. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is over here in E3. This is a case knife, part of the stuff my dad gave me to sell. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Alright, next we're going over to D3. These are the Polar Bear Coca-Cola glasses I just picked up. I paid $5 for them. They sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Those are going to have to be named Giovanni. Giovanni, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, next is a t-shirt. This is a band t-shirt. Bullet for my Valentine. I've only got a couple of dollars into it. It sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Sold another glove down here at C6. This is a lefty glove. Rawlings, Ozzy Smith. Got a couple dollars into it. Sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is down here in D6. It is these Futurama DVDs. There's four of them. I've got $4 into these. They sold for $22.99 for shipping. Those are going out to a viewer named Sarita, and she says, I still watch every episode. Thanks for all you do. Sarita, thank you for the kind words, and I really hope you like those DVDs. All right, sold another baseball glove over here at A2. This is a Rawlings Derek Jeter glove. Honestly, if it wasn't the Derek Jeter signature model, I might not have picked it up. Paid a dollar for it. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. And the last thing we're pulling is over here in C4. These are some bulbs I picked up at a garage sale. I've got 25 cents into each one. These four sold for $11.99 free shipping. All right, guys, it's Friday morning, and today is the day that my antique mall reopens. It's been closed for three months, and I've been hoarding up all kinds of stuff to put in here. I went ahead and rented a second booth that I will show you guys and I've also got my storage units maybe like 10 minutes away from here and as you guys know they're like totally full of stuff so I'm gonna spend this whole day just filling this antique booth and I'll show you guys what I'm putting in there. I went ahead and put a bunch of stuff in the car uh, from my warehouse but I've also been hitting some garage sales this morning so some of the stuff I just found today other stuff I pulled from my warehouse and some of it that I found today, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put in the booth. No sense in taking it back to the warehouse. So I'm going to try to pull some of the stuff out and get it priced and hopefully sell it. guys here's my new booth it's a 10 foot by 12 foot so I've got plenty of space for furniture which I have a lot of so let's go ahead and fill this thing give a quick shout out to a viewer named Scott. He actually sent me this banner a couple weeks ago before I even rented this booth and I'm thinking you know what this would look perfect in here because my other booth I have a uh, chalkboard sign that says Cincinnati Picker but this banner works out great so Scott man I really appreciate it. Uh, Scott also has a channel called Trash to Cash so if you guys haven't seen it I'll put a link down below in the description. All right guys it's all done. I filled this thing just all kinds of different stuff and I am really excited to have a second booth and just hopefully move some more inventory. 
while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my other booth. This one is a little bit smaller, and I've got just a huge variety of stuff. I've got some records, a bunch of different artwork, that sticker starting to come off, it looks like. Yeah, a little bit of everything in here. And I also have a guest book, uh, some stickers. So if you guys stop by, be sure to say hi. It looks like Eric might have stopped by today. So, hey, Eric, appreciate you stopping by, man. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.